At the beginning of the film, we see a young woman named Sam. She was with her elder sister at home. Her elder sister visits her while Sam is at work. I couldn't sleep, and I'm not feeling sleepy, she says, strange voices are coming from my bed. When Sam hears it, she goes to her room to look under her bed, but there is nothing. Sam tells her that there is nothing under her bed. So go to bed peacefully. She goes to sleep after making her sleep. At night someone knocks at their door when Sam was sleeping. Sam awakes, when she opens the door a lady was outside. She was asking for help from her. My car, according to the lady, is damaged, and my phone is also dead. Can I make a call on your phone? Sam asks her to leave immediately. She wasn't feeling good she feels some problem. Sam's elder sister also comes out. She says I have heard someone's voice now. Sam notices a man is sitting in their house, she gets scared seeing it and hides in a room with her sister. The lady and the man were, in fact, a couple, a murderous couple. They kidnap and murder people. They come here to kidnap those sisters. The lady was named Denise, Denise's husband searches for them in their room. Those sisters were hiding beneath the bed. Meanwhile, Denise's husband comes across them and kidnaps them. Sam awakes and finds herself in a car boot. That killer couple kidnapped them and taking them somewhere. Sam finds a rod and she releases herself from it. She hits the rod on that car's tire, the tire bursts, and the car stops. When Denise's husband opens the car boot Sam attacks him and runs from there. The man asks Denise to follow her. Denise starts chasing her. Sam hides behind a tree when Denise arrives Sam hits the rod on her head. Her head gets injured and in return, Denise stabs her with a knife. The knife stabs in her belly. Sam runs from there her injury was bleeding. Meanwhile, she notices Denise's husband, who is standing directly in front of her. When she sees him, she becomes terrified and flees. Denise's husband pursues her but is unable to apprehend her. Sam stumbles into a ditch while running. She becomes more injured. She somehow comes out of the ditch and moves forward. Meanwhile, she notices that she is returning to the location where she struck Denise. She didn't understand anything. Even then she moves forward. While walking, she reaches a road and there was a board as well. She comes to know she can find some help from nearby. Sam moves forward and notices a house. She knocks at the door but there wasn't any response. When Sam notices it, he goes inside the house and begins looking for the medicines. However, a house door automatically closed. Sam dismisses it, speculating that it may be closed due to the wind. Suddenly, the people who lived in the house come out. Sam discovers who that family is when she sees who they are. They are none other than Denise and her husband. It means she was running from whom she was now in their house. Sam becomes terrified as he witnesses all of this. She dashes into the restroom. The couple starts talking and while talking Denise's husband becomes furious. He leaves after warning Denise. When Denise's husband was standing at a place, Sam secretly moves to the storeroom and hides there. There was a hole in the wall, everything was visible to Sam because of it. Meanwhile, a man arrives who was their friend. Sam was checking the things in the storeroom. There she finds many IDs and things of many girls. When Sam sees it, he realizes that the couple has previously murdered many girls. Sam discovers a needle and uses it to sew her wound. They consume a lot of alcohol at night. When it finishes their friend goes to bring beer, then he notices the hole and he sees Sam's eyes. Sam becomes terrified and informs them that he has seen something in the storeroom. Denise's husband doesn't believe him. He thinks he is drunk that's why he is saying this. Their friend says in a sense of joke, I know your secret. Denise's husband thinks maybe he knew that we killed girls after capturing them. Their things are in the storeroom. Denise's husband inquires, what secret do you have about me? His friend says leave it, I was just kidding. Denise's husband doesn't believe in him this time. He attacks his head with a rod and kills him. Denise gets angry with him for this act. Sam also gets scared while seeing all this in front of her eyes. Meanwhile, Denise's husband starts chopping his friend's body with a chainsaw. Sam closes her eyes when she hears Chainsaw's voice. After cutting his body into many parts, Denise's husband puts it in his car and moves to throw them. Sam tries to open the door of the storeroom, but it was locked, and Sam could hear the phone's voice ringing. She calls the cops, but the problem is that she doesn't know the address. The most troubling thing is that the phone gets dead. The call disconnects. Denise's husband had gone to dispose of the body, leaving her alone at home. Sam notices her elder sister, who is running away from Denise. When Sam's sister notices her, she asks her to open the door while yelling. 
As I have told you the door was locked. Denise holds her sister and kills her with a knife. Sam sees her elder sister dying in front of her eyes and can't do anything to save her because the door was locked. Sam loses her courage and gets faint. Suddenly, a demonic power enters that house. It tries to scare Denise. Denise feels strange so she tries to move out. Meanwhile, the demonic power possesses her. Denise's husband arrives home and sees his wife is standing at a place. Seeing it, he asks Denise, what are you doing? Are you okay? When Denise turns he sees her eyes were red like blood, she was also passing a creepy smile, meanwhile, she cuts her neck with a knife. She dies. Denise's husband gets shocked seeing this meanwhile, he listens to a demonic voice from the storeroom. He goes there to check. As he opens the door the demonic power shouts he becomes frightened due to it. After it, he thinks to break the door with an axe. When he moves to do this, the demonic power throws him down. He gets injured. When he stands up there were many souls in front of him, these were the souls of the girls whom he killed. Those souls now will take their revenge on him, for what had he done with them. Sam awakes and sees a soul, that soul opens the door and Sam comes out. She notices the dead body of her elder sister there. She was killed badly. When Sam sees this, she begins to cry, and a soul appears in front of her. The soul touches Sam and informs her that you died in the storeroom. Now your soul has come out. Don't be concerned about your sister, she is happy with her mother. They were in another dimension. The next morning, the police arrive and remove the dead bodies. Suddenly, Sam awakes. Her eyes were red like blood. Actually, the soul has entered her body. Now she's going to kill everyone, the people who kidnap or capture the girls and murder them. This is where the film comes to an end.